Hey everybody, I'm Alabama Boss. Welcome to another episode of Craft Brew Review. I f***ed up. I was thinking on current events. On this episode of Craft Brew, we're gonna be looking at the loggers. So over the last few years, IPAs have kind of dominated the craft beer community. It's kind of a craze. I hate IPAs. Thank God we have some loggers here today. According to some people out there, the loggers are making a comeback, and I hope I like these. All right, the first one we're gonna try is Yeehaw, Tennessee beer that is Johnson City, Tennessee. You'll say it when you drink it. Yeehaw. So I guess this beer got the bronze award at the World Beer Cup in 2016. 5.5% alcohol by volume. I'm gonna dive into this thing. Ooh, that is a dark ass beer right there. Black. Don't smell, don't smell bad at all. Boy, it's dark. Hmm. What's too dark? So on the website, it says if you savor this slowly, which I do not with any beer, savor slowly, I just chug them. But you can taste biscuits, cocoa, and caramel. I don't know, uh, caramel. Some people say caramel, and I do not. <laughs> I, it's not bad. It's just, I, this is hard for me. This is where I struggle with craft beer, because I just want to kill it. I just want to just click, 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 click. That's how I want to drink beer. You don't do that with craft beer. I'm learning but it's not bad. I don't really taste biscuits. I don't know where the hell they got that at. It's not great. It's not bad. It's just, it's, it's good. It's good. It's good. Now remember, I'm just a domestic beer drinker, lower class, trailer park shit. Let's move on. Got the old tall boy next. All right, this is Zwickle. Is that right, Zwickle? Zwickly, Zwickle, or is the Z silent? Wickle. Zwickle. Zwickle. Urban Chestnut Brewing Company, St. Louis, Missouri. Bavarian style reverence series number one. This is the OG of their series. This one won a gold medal at the World Beer Championship in 2015. So I'm expecting a lot here. I got high expectations for old Zwickle. Man, what in the hell kind of top is this? This is some old 60 sh I will now attempt to open this beer. All the bitches come running, they hear that. The whole thing. Oh my God. Oh, beanie weenies right there. I'm stunned at this giant ass opening. Hmm, it's almost like wine that's not done yet. That's what it looks like. Ah, uh, yeah, I like that color. Now that's, that's a good looking beer. It's clear. It's not hazy, it's not cloudy, nice, golden. Down your hatch. It's good. That's a good beer. I want so bad to... Oh, that bro. I had to do it. <laughs> Almost come out my nose. That's a good beer. I like this. It's a good beer. It's got kind of a little bit of a bite at the end of it. It's not really a bite. It's kind of like lemon or a fruit, something a little bit, a little bit bitter. It's smooth. It's a real good beer. I like that. That right there gets two thumbs up. I love the top. Move along. Next up, Surly. Hell. This is Surly Brewing Company. The name of this lager is Hell, which means light in German. This one's coming out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. It looks like an energy drink. It's got a bunch of writing on the back. They go into a bunch of detail. Way too many details for a beer. All you're doing is drinking it. I'm trying to get to the same place. Okay, let's bust this bitch up. Look, like I got Tourette's. I have to do that with every beer. Mm. Up my nose in the sun, bitch. Don't smell bad. Got a good smell. Good color. Alligator, everything looks fine. Oh, it is really carbonated. 
or something. Throw the logger down the hatch. Mm-mm. Mm, God. Surly, it was bad. Whew. No, don't, ooh, God. That's one of them that stays with you. It just lingers in the back of your mouth. You sure you didn't grab one of them expired beers? God, people buy this shit. I could put some shit that can't taste better than this. They say Surly beer my German mother will drink. She said this one's me. What kind of mama they got? Well, your mama sucks, because this is a bad tasting pile of shit in my opinion. I mean, this is just a review by me. It tastes like eating a fucking, fucking bitter ass persimmon, maybe. Once you swallow the, it's it. that's when it's on you. It's, uh, you knew you fucked up when you swallowed. It's not as bad as the IPA, the old hazy IPAs. It's not that bad, but it's just like these two, pretty good beer. This one is terrible. There's some reviews online, and they even, some of the people was like very drinkable. No, oh, so is your own piss, but we don't do it. No. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. They say there's some skunkiness. Why do they say that? What's the good about that? A little ass taste in there. It stays with you. What I'm gonna do is wash it down with some Zwickle, because it is good beer. Next up, we have one out of Nashville. It's Nashville Brewing Company. This is a traditional Bulvarian. It's lager beer. They say Nashville Brewing, 1859. I think they may have reopened it or something. Who cares? Nobody does. Uh, we're gonna try this beer. So this is the 2018 silver medal winner at the World Beer Cup. That's a big deal. Smells good. Got a cool looking old bottle. Almost looks like root beer. That's good. Real good looking beer. Oh, f we can just wipe the table. I love this beer. This may be the best beer I have drank doing craft brew reviews. No f hands down. I'm not joking. I love this beer. Love this beer. Look, this the, the shittiest beer has got a f***ing Wikipedia page on the back of it. You're buying this when you buy this green can of horse piss. This big saying, this little graphics, all that bullshit. This, no sayings, nothing. Regular old label, regular bottle. You don't have to read a poem off the back, none of that bullshit. It's a great beer. Tastes like home. It's real, real, real smooth. It's kind of a mellow taste. We'll get technical now. I don't even want to keep going, but I just want to drink the rest of this one. But let's move on to old grapefruit. Rev B Soho Lager. God, I hate f***ing grapefruit. This one comes out of Colorado. Independently handcrafted Durango grapefruit lager. Grapefruit lager will take you where you want to go. You want to go to beer heaven. Then your tongue is tickled by carbonation. No, now I think these craft beer people think, hey, let's mouth f people. And make their tongues tingle and have orgasms. And that's not what it's about. It's gotta taste good. Skeptical would be an understatement right now. Mm. Uh-uh. It smells like uh, old orange juice. Well, let's try it. It's weird. That's weird. That is really weird. I feel like I got mouth <laughs> Right when I was knocking it. It's weird, it's like uh, this is a this is a different taste than I've ever had. I'm really afraid that I like this beer and I should not like this beer. I absolutely should not like this gray can grapefruit craft beer, but I do. I almost feel ashamed to say it. Mm. That's a really cool tasting beer. Am I? These craft brews are doing something to my taste buds. Maybe your palate is expanding. Don't start that shit. <laughs> real citrusy, grapefruit. I got a real dirty, vulgar way to explain this, but the clean way is like, it really wakes up your mouth. If that makes any sense. It's it's refreshing, almost like lemonade. This is definitely my second. They, they shouldn't be in the same category, these two beers. This is a new release for 2018. 
and they decided to share it with a few select states and thank god uh nashville tennessee is one of them all right this last one here is out of east nashville smith and lentz brewing company so the name of the beer is german peels unfiltered can by hand pretty straightforward not much cat call to it it's real light it is a real light beer it's cloudy it's a little cloudy not much aroma Not good beer. Terrible beer. Woo. Dropped the ball there, boys. Woo. Somebody said, hey, just send it on out. It's fine. And it ain't. It's not as bad as this green bastard, but it's bad. That's nah, a bad beer. It's in a black can. Should have known. The old early morning piss right there. Boy, it tastes like shit. Where it gets you right there when you ingest it into your body. Boy, I gotta piss so bad right now. <sighs> uh, this, uh, this is the worst. I can do I can I think I got this down right here. No problem. If I was to rate all these, this is the order they should be in. Actually, this one shouldn't even get a place. Beer right there. Uh pretty shitty. Way too dark. Good. Drinkable. Love the top wild ass mouth orgasm with this one. Um, and just a very good beer. I don't know if it's because I eat ass and then drank this, uh, but it is, this is a great beer. I would drink like five of these and one of these. It'd be a great mix. All right, well there you have it for a craft brew review, the lager edition. Uh, this has been a good show for me because this beer here was uh, unexpected, kind of mind blown. I will try this again. And I have found me a new fridge beer. Check both of them out. You'll like them. I'm out with my boss at Rated Red. Y'all have a good one. I gotta piss. I'm gonna piss myself. Mm -hmm.